How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about BBIG. It ended up having a pullback on the Friday, but I want to make sure I give you guys an update. I was telling you, hey, as long as we finish above $7.50, which was stated in the previous video, we could still have this momentum continue. And since we did end up closing above that is part of the reasons why I want to make sure you keep it on your radar. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you are a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is the technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support. We want to know resistance. We want to know those key levels to keep an eye on, especially for momentum. And then we're going to go on Fintel, taking a look at the short interest information. We already know there's a lot of shorts inside of this play but we want to see the short volume ratio increasing or is it decreasing and then we're going to take a look at the order flow distribution we want to know our institutions continuing to load up on shares if not then of course you want to keep a closer eye because this does have an impact on the overall stock price and then when all of that is done we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details so let's get to it so we're going to do a technical analysis for vinco ventures let's see how it performed on friday so we ended up closing at seven dollars and 77 cents being down 6.61 percent on the low it tested seven dollars and 55 cents and then on the high testing eight dollars and 81 cents when we take a look at the volume stats on the day you can see we traded at 48.922 million shares and the average volume over 10 trading days being at 112.828 million shares so this is well below the average here and it's part of the reasons why we ended up seeing some pressure on the overall stock price now when we take a look at our chart which is a one-year daily chart we can see from the RSI down below it is around 55.25 and this is taking into consideration of the fact that we were running real hot being at this 85 area and the matter of the fact that it's cooling off is no surprise now when we take a look now at the moving averages on our chart you can see we have strength above the 200 day the 50 day and as well as a 21 day EMA so we ended up closing at seven dollars and seventy seven cents so we could see in this particular level on the Friday it's something to pay attention to going into next week on the low of that day we tested seven dollars and fifty five cents so this is an area that you're gonna want to see hold if it does not hold then of course I'd want to look for a rebound off of the 21 day EMA at seven dollars and thirty one cents and if that level did end up breaking of course you want to see how well seven dollars would hold up and if that doesn't hold up you guys can already see how low this thing could actually go but one thing to do keep in mind though if we end up seeing momentum coming into the stock and there's a lot more volume keep in mind we had a high on that day of eight dollars and 81 cents so if we're able to revisit this areas and have momentum above it we get to this nine dollar level we could push that volume all the way back up so that's part of the reasons why this place still has a lot of strength in it because going to nine we already know there's support here right around 9 11 and we make that move boom going to 9 30 and then it, things can happen very quickly here especially getting to this ten dollar level but this is only going to happen if we have a lot of volume so that's just something to be aware of so as far as going into monday and as well as for the rest of the week let's see how well it can hold up the 755 level and as well seeing if it does pull back how well it can hold up 731 and go from there so we're going to take a look at the recent short interest information for bbig scrolling down on the page short shares availability is at six hundred and fifty thousand, updated one minute ago and the short ball fee rate is at 48.93%. When we take a look at the history of the short volume ratio, we can see for the close of the 16th, which was Thursday, it was at 32.82. And then the close for the 17th, which was the Friday that just passed, it was at 41.99. So shorts are increasing their positions. The stock did pull back and it didn't have the amount of volume that we normally have. So this is an opportunity they saw, hey, you know what, we're going to be pouncing on this stock. So one thing to keep in mind, it's still 
still continues to have short squeeze potential. So we end up having some volume and there's some buying pressure that's coming into the play. Then we can see some strong moves to the upside and it's part of the reasons why I say you wanna keep this on your radar. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for BBIG. So we can see on the inflow, it's at 75.66 and then on the outflow, it's at 93.29. So it was an outflow day on the Friday. When we take a look at the breakdown on the large for the inflow side, it was at 1.44. And then on the medium, it was 49.72. And then on the small, it was 24.50. On the outflow side on the large, it is at 2.10. On the medium, it is at 62.73. And then on the small, it's at 28 point four six so one thing that we can clearly see here outflows one in every single category especially if we take a look at what was going down on the small there is definitely a lot of profit taking coming from the retail side or many who were panic selling due to the fact that the stock was pulling back so that's just something to be aware of and now when we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days you can see for september the 17th being overall an outflow day because we already saw the comparison because we had 1.44 million on on the inflow large and as far as for the outflow it was at 2.10 so when you take that difference it's really not that big and it's part of the reasons why I still see that there could be some continued momentum in this play but it does thrive on overall volume in general so please keep an eye on this because one thing we can clearly see institutions are still purchasing shares so as far as a spike is concerned we could see one likely for the coming week so now let's jump into the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details as well so for my final thoughts for BBIG, the key levels that you want to look out for, you want to see it hold up that $7.50 level and as well as a 21-day EMA if it decides to pull back at $7.31. If $7.31 ends up breaking, then we could easily get down to the $7 level and then you guys already know what the downside is from taking a look at the technicals. But one thing when we went on Fintel, what we could see, shorts are still heavily vested inside of this play and yes, they have increased their positions. No surprise there because we did pull back on the Friday and there was a good amount of selling as we saw as far as for the small scale orders, which is the retail side. Institutions have been purchasing up shares, so that's something to understand. But just know as far as for the volume is concerned, we did not get the same or even similar amount of volume that we have been enjoying on previous days. So this is something that you're gonna wanna keep an eye on because if the volume continues to go down lower, then of course this stock is going to pull back and that's one thing I want you to be prepared for. So going in as far as for the rest of this week, let's see it hold up 750 or if it pulls back 731 and if it's able to actually hold these particular levels, then we can look forward to seeing strong spikes going into $8, $9 and possibly 10. Because like I said, once it hits those key levels as far as eight, nine and so forth, then we have a lot more traders coming into the play, a lot more volume coming into the stock and then we can look forward to seeing some very strong moves to the upside. So I hope you guys have a strategy going into tomorrow and the rest of the week. And you guys already know I'm going to continue to keep you updated. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be talking real soon.